that the Koyen cannot be metame to his relative where it's a skull and a spinal column or the majority of the bones. That a sister, we learned yesterday that you are metame even just, just her skull. So this is a kasha <coughs> who learned yesterday that if the relative is missing something, you can't, the coin can't go to the funeral. So more says, Ayinami Rabbi Yehuda. That was the sheet of Rabbi Yehuda. But Rav Damar Kiaitanat and Rav holds like the following time. The time, Maisa Shemei Sovim Shav Yitzhak begins it. Rav Yitzhak's father died. He was a Kohen. They told him after three years. He asked, can he go to the funeral? Since the father was buried three years before, must be he's not Sholem anymore. So he was not permitted to go to the funeral. We pass like Rav, Rav, Rav Chizda that if the father is not Sholem, you don't go to the funeral. So that was reinterment when she was buried before. Except we said if the if it was amputated before he died, that's the Ram the Rambanos, you could go to the funeral if it was an amputation before he died. Shloisha meaning us Hi George. Happy Shushan Purim. I apologize. First of all, my apologies for not having been. <laughs> we, miss, we miss you, trust me, when you're not there. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank okay. you. But I have so, been uh, diligent. I will, I will provide that I've been diligent about doing the daf. I was, I was up in, if you can believe this, I was up in Montana in uh, Yellowstone. Nice. Frozen. Have you Learning seen Gemara in the frozen, frozen lands. We were, was, my wife and I watched that show, Yellowstone. I will send you a video of my experience. Okay, George, I want to see it. You got it. Okay. So we're, we're in the Mishnah, Mem yeah. Dalet, Omad Aleph, Mishnah. Perfect. Shloisha meaning Nasrin ben Nazir. There are three prohibitions by Nazir. Tuma, he cannot expose himself to, to Tuma of a mace. Tiglachas, he can't take a haircut. Vehayotzim and he's prohibited to consume products from the grape. Choymer betuma v'tiglachas. There are aspects of exposure to tuma and taking a haircut. Then mi bayotzim and agefen. Then the nazar consuming wine. Shehatuma v'tiglachas soisri. Being exposed to tuma and taking a haircut cause you to stop counting the Naziris. You have to start again. A Nazir who drinks wine has to get Malchus, but he does, it doesn't stop the count of his Naziris. On the other hand, there's, there are stringency to the prohibition of grape products more than to a haircut. There is never a situation where a nazar is permitted to drink wine, even even if it's a kid, even if kiddush on Shabbos, even if it's a mitzvah to drink wine, it doesn't override the prohibition. The tuma v'tiglachas hutru There are times where it's permitted to take a haircut or to expose yourself to mates. Number one, betiklachas to mitzvah. For example, if you become a mitzora and during your naziris and part of the tahara process of a mitzora, you gotta take a haircut. Permit it. 
Uvemes mitzvah. And in Nazir, if he encounters a corpse that has nobody to bury it, the Nazir is allowed to bury it. So there are heterim to those prohibitions. While wine, there's no heterim. Then, the prohibition of Tuma is worse than the prohibition of a haircut. That if you're a hundred day nausea and you become Tommy, it wipes all hundred days. The and you have to bring a corpse. Tiglachas You took a haircut, you only have to keep another 30 days. And ain chayavin alea korban. And there's no korban if you took a haircut. Now the Gemara is now going to deduce or attempt to deduce certain principles from the Mishnah. The tumma. What, what about Pesach uh, of Arba, Arba Kosas? Is that does that take priority? Over no. Akiddish? No. Also, also not? No. No. You're also to drink Yain Mitzvah. But it's an Esa and a Losa, sir, if you don't drink it. It's only a Drabona. Arba Kois is only Drabona. Oh, Drabona. Oh, I thought it was right. And Kiddush okay. Allah Kois, even for Shabbos, is only Mirabona. Well, that you can be also with someone else. I'm saying making Kiddush over wine on Shabbos. Is only mid rabbanon. Kiddush is doraisa, but oh. the fact that we're told to do it over wine is only a rabbinic law. But but uh, but uh, but arbicosis is a uh, arbicosis yeah. also rabbanon. Okay. The tuma lo tuta miklala. The Gemara argues there should be no hetter for meis mitzvah. Kava chaymer miayin umayin shein asoyser lo tuta miklala. Drinking wine doesn't break the Nazirim. And there's never a heter. Tuma shesoyseris. Tuma that breaks the Nazirim. Eino din shlotutu miklolo. There should be no heter. Talmud loimer, we learn a pasuk. Lo'avivu lo'imo lo yitama. Lo'avivu lo'imo lo yitama. Aval mitama ulemes mitzvah. Bigmore now says, yayin yutar miklolo. There should be a heter to drink wine. Kava choymer mi tuma. Ma tuma shi soiseres. Tuma that breaks the naziris count. Putra michlal is, there's a permission for meis mitzvah. Yayin she'ena soiser. Ena din she'yuta michlal. Yayin does not interrupt the naziris count. Based on this kava choymer, there should be a heter. Amr kra. Mi yayin v'sheikha yazir. Which is a kfeilis, which is a, a double double statement, lesser yayin mitzvah kiyen rishus. It's a special gzeres akosuf that even if it's a mitzvah to drink wine, it's prohibited just like drinking wine, you know, regular wine that you want to drink. The yayin yister sakol, yayin should also break even a hundred day nazirs. Kavachomer mituma, matuma shudra mechlolos or sakol, we said being exposed to tuma wipes away even a hundred day count. And there's a heter, meis mitzvah, yayin shaloyu to mechla, yayin doesn't have any heter. Lo kol shukin shiyistra hakol, it should have the ability to uproot even a hundred day nazirs. Omra kra, v'hayomim arishonim yiplu ki tamei nizro. You know which days fall away? In a nazir when you're tummy. Tuma soiseris. Vein ayayin soiser. Frey to Gemara batiglachas tistor sakol kavachemir mi tuma. We said in the Mishnah that taking a haircut only wipes away 30 days, but it should wipe away even 100 day nazirs. Uma tuma shlosuba matame kimatame. Tuma, the person who causes the Kohen to become tummy. Nothing happens to him. So he says, as I call, Tiglachas, Sha'asuba Megalech Kamizgalech. There's a special din that the person who gives a haircut to the Nazir, he's over on Isra Naziris. So then, Eno Din Shatistra Sakol. So from that Kavachoymer, 
taking a haircut should uproot even a hundred day Naziris. Amr Krova Yamim Arishonim Yiplu Kitam in Israel, Tuma Soyser Sakol, the Antiglacha Soyser Sakol. We'll see, Tiglacha is Soyser 30 days, like our Mishnah said. But if you're a hundred day or a thousand day, it would only get rid of 30 days, while Tuma gets rid of the whole thing. The Tuma Nasibo Metame Kimitame. Now we should say that there should be a lav of Naziris, even for somebody who contaminated the Nazar with Tuma, Kavachayrim and Tiglachas. Uma Tiglachas Sheinu Saseris Elish Loishi. Taking a haircut only wipes away 30 days. Also, Bamagalachim is Galeach. They made a special prohibition that even the person who gives the Nazar a haircut is over a lav. Tuma Shi Saseris is a call. Tumas Mace, which wipes away everything. The person who's metame, the Nazar, should be treated the same way. Only to the person who becomes Tame has a problem. Now the Gemara wants to argue. The din where we said that the person who gives a haircut is gets an Avera, maybe he shouldn't. Kavachoyer mituma. Uma tuma she says there's sakol. Tuma's face wipes away everything. Lo asuba batame kimitame. We said that the din of whoever is mitame the nazir isn't doesn't get a lav. Tiklacha she'enu says there's elish lo shimiyot. Taking a haircut which only wipes away 30 days. Certainly, we should not have the din where the person who gave the haircut is over anything. He shouldn't do it and somebody else shouldn't do it either. We, we said that if a Nazar becomes a Mitzora, He's permitted to take a haircut as part of the tahara from his taras. Maybe we shouldn't allow it. Yayin <coughs> doesn't wipe away anything. There's no, there's never permission to drink wine. Taking a haircut which wipes away 30 days. It should be stringent like Yayin and have no permission, even by Bitsara. By Mitzor, it says he has to cut his hair and his beard. That even though there's an Isra Nazir, he takes a haircut. Taking a haircut shouldn't uproot even one day of the Nazir's. Yayin has no permit. And it doesn't cause any days of the Naziris to be uprooted. Taking a haircut that is permitted in a case of Mitzorah. It shouldn't wipe away any days of the Naziris if you take a haircut. So the Gemara says that it's the Inan Gidul Seir of Aleka. The Inu that you need 30 days because you need at least a 30 day growth. To take a haircut at the end of your naziris, so the, if you if you shaved your head during your naziris, it's just practical. You're not going to have hair growth enough to bring your carbonus unless you have a thirty day. That's why it's soys for thirty days. Wine should also uproot the naziris. Should give you another thirty day count. Taking a haircut which has a permit by Mitzorah uproots the, the Naziris count. Wine, which is never permitted. So, by haircut, you only need 30 day hair growth. And Gabi Yain Hakoim Saro, you don't need 30 day growth. His hair is there. Well, and therefore, 
since the Nazar didn't make any Shinui, the drinking of the wine doesn't cause him to uproot any of the days. Mem Dal Dabit Beis. Tiglachas Tuma Ketza. A Nazar that becomes Tame in the middle of his Naziris, how does it work? So, Haya. So on day 15, the Naziris touches a dead body. So how do you get him to Tohar? Maze b'shlishi v'shvi. He has to count seven days. Paraduma ashes mixed with water are sprinkled on him on the third and seventh day. Umigalech b'shvi. He takes a haircut on the seventh day. Umevi korbanus of b'shmini. And he brings on the eighth day korbanus. As a nazir tome, which we'll see is different than the korbanos of a nazir tome. Then vim gilech bashmini, but let's say he didn't take a haircut on the seventh day. He took it on the eighth day. Maybe korbanos of boabayom did Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva said, don't have to wait till the next day. He can bring the korbanos that day. Armelor of Tarfon, Mabin Zela Metzora. Now, a Metzora has to take a haircut and only take bring Korbanis the next day. So Rav Tarfan asked Rav Akiva, why are you allowing to bring the Korbanis on the same day as the haircut? Amr, lo, you know what's a good reason? This guy was a Tomei Mace. He needs seven clean days with Paradum on the third and seventh day. Then he's taller. The Mitzora, his Tara process works off his haircut. For example, he went to the mikvah for his haircut, doesn't do anything. So he needs the haircut. And you can't bring a korban until you've had hair of Shemesh. That's why you always have to wait to the day after the haircut. And he may be korban elam can hire more of Shemesh. So keep lumineo lo. Did Rav Tarfan accept the response of Rabbi Kiva or not? Toshma, Tani Hila. Hilech Pashmini. If the Nazar took his haircut on the eighth day, maybe Korbanos of Bichi. He brings his Korbanos on the ninth. Rabbi Kiva said, you're allowed to bring it on the eighth day. Must be Rav Tarfan didn't accept. No. If he was Torval on the Sviyanich Rami, he would have been able to bring his Korbanos on the eighth day. But if he did not, and he always Torval on the seventh day, he would need Arab Shemesh before he brought his korbanos. Om Rabbi, Asher Chinu Lechavi Rav Nosson Bar Yisrael Yasin Karmen. He found Rav Nosson and his compatriots learning the following pasuk: By a zav on his seventh day, somebody who had a seminal mission, he's Tommy for seven days. He counts seven clean days, and on the seventh day he goes to the mikvah. He's a tful yom, and then on the next day. He brings korbanos. Uval if they Hashem al pesach al moedin sanam al akoeh. A mesayuba bisman shu tovel v'aser of shemesh in. He has to go to the mikvah on the seventh. The night falls. He brings korbanos on the eighth. Lo tovel v'aser of shemesh. If he did not go to the mikvah, then lo al maksavar tvul yom shel zav kizav dami. He's holding that. Even though he went to the mikvah, he's already still like a zav. That just like a zav cannot go into the machne of of where the mishkan the base medish is, so the zav that on the day he went also can't go to the azar. He has to wait until erev shem. I mean, alone I know that I would have understood then from this elamiata gabi nazar tomei nami. That this applies to a Nazar became Tomei. He went to the mikvah and he waited until the next day. Not like Rabbi Akiva, who said that he could bring his korbanos on the same day. Okay, tomorrow we'll learn at eight o'clock. Uh, we're gonna. I'll call back to start the tzur in six minutes at eight o'clock.